Hey everybody, this is Pete. And today you're watching the Camera Lucida 16.0 Getting Started tutorial. This is for people who have never used the app before. In this case, you can see that my local co-op had a sale on red kidney beans, so I bought a case of them, and they stack on one another really nicely. So I took those, and because yesterday was Halloween, I put this Ouija board across the top of them, and I placed my iPad so that the camera, which is right here, is pointing down at a piece of paper that I have taped in place. That's really all you need to do to get started with the app. All right, so let's get started. Push the button right there to get Camera Lucida running, and you immediately get set into setup mode. Setup mode is where you adjust your camera and you adjust your iPad so that everything is where it should be, and you select the image you want to draw with one of these three blinking buttons. In this case, I'm gonna select the camera roll. I'm gonna select this image. Now that I've selected the image to draw, you can pinch the screen. Now, as you do this, you see the paper underneath. And the way that you see it on the screen is going to be the way your final drawing looks. So now's your chance to zoom in, to crop it, you know, do anything you want, including using these color controls to adjust things like color, saturation, anything that you want. I'm gonna just cancel that, okay? And when you're done, you just hit the big draw button. But let's go through a few more features first of all. Up here in the upper left, you have your main menu. You press that, and this is where you can do things like opening the settings pages or set your help level so you don't get a lot of pop-ups. You can restore your app purchases. You can restore a drawing session. And you can even set it so that it uses or hosts the camera for use in a dual device mode, which is covered in other videos. I'm gonna cancel out of that. Over here, you have the help menu. The help menu consists of things like being able to send me an email. So if you want to, just hit the contact support and I reply as quickly as I can. You can see the release notes, you can watch the tutorials, you can read the manual, and when you read the manual, it brings up a big PDF from the internet, and it's got everything that I'm going over here in detail, so that's a great. And if you wanna print it or email it to yourself, you can do that. All right, other things you can do are rate or review the app, et cetera, et cetera. I really recommend you do that. But once you're ready to draw, you wanna hit this button right here, the hand holding the pencil button. Now when you've done this, now when you zoom into the screen, both the camera view and the image will be locked together. And you have certain controls that you can do while in the drawing mode, such as a double tap. A double tap zooms you in 3x to wherever you tap. So that if I tap on this eyeball over here, it zooms in there. You can zoom in further by pinching. You can also drag the screen, okay? And if you want, you can even use a two finger tap, which will set the camera's exposure and lock it. You can also, if your camera is out of focus, you can come over here and you can hit this focus button. Now all these buttons are, are, are detailed in the actual user manual, but briefly, help button, time-lapse recording, save a drawing session, focus your camera, unlock the camera exposure that I had set with the two finger tap. Down here, you've got a tool for being able to see more settings like setting your playback speed for time-lapse photography. Oh, you've even got the flashlight button. You'll notice there are some shadows here, but if I turn on the flashlight, it lights up the, the, uh, the drawing surface quite a bit and gets rid of a whole bunch of those shadows. I have a lot of lights on right now, casting a lot of shadows. And if you wanna exit the drawing mode, you hit this lower left back button, okay? So how do you draw with the app? Well, it's pretty simple. You just set your transparency so you can see enough of the reference image, keeping in mind that a single tap will make the entire user interface go away and a single tap will make it come back. You then zoom in, okay? You take your drawing item, in this case, I'm gonna use this charcoal here, and by looking at the screen, not at the drawing surface, you come in and you make your marks, okay? I'm holding my camera with one hand and looking over, over the screen with the other, so it's not the most convenient. But you come in and you can make an entire drawing this way. All right, what if you want some other tools? Well, this toolbox right here opens up a whole host of features that are used to process the image. 
My favorite is the Posterize. The Posterize feature converts your image into shades of gray, and you can set how many shades of gray that you want. Okay, well that's a quick intro. When you're done, you hit the lower left back button, like I said, to be able to open up a new image if you want. If you want more details on any of these other features, I recommend you either look at the manual or look for a particular video tutorial on that topic. And have fun. And lastly, remember, if you have any questions, if you're confused, just use that contact us button and email me at lucidapete at gmail.com. Thanks.